channels, the eight extraordinary channels, the five Shen, the right hand faces down on the left and begin spiraling, feeling the power of the chi between the two palms 26 times. Counting it silently, she is spiraling towards the center line of the body, both hands moving around the circle and towards the center, drawing the chi from the left channel, core channel, to spiral deep and towards the center, 26 times. Reverse. Left hand goes on top of the right hand, and 26 times on the right side, spiraling in towards the center of the body, both hands, feeling like you're moving the deep core channel, the right channel, to spiral into the center of the body. not necessary to visualize anything. And then both palms come to the center and face each other, feeling like there's the sun and moon in them, feel them rotating around each other, amplifying the polarity, left and right. 26 times. Pengu Mystical Qigong was channeled by a Chinese lawyer who's used the pen name now, Wu Win Wei. And he's published a book on it, which you can read. Uh, it's a very simple uh, but powerful Qigong. He doesn't describe it necessarily in the same way, and I've modified it. But I saw it as actually activating uh, a spiraling force inside the left and right core channels, and in the center channel, opening the orbit. And so it connects in with the eight extraordinary vessels, and I find it's very appropriate and works very powerfully in conjunction with the other uh, Qigong movements, with the eight extraordinary vessels and the gathering of the virtue energy of the five elements in the creation cycle. So. Very important to do the inner smile and connect to the virtue energies because that's what this is connecting the spirits, the five shen of the vital organs, to these deep channels. And so they're smiling, they're bringing their virtues, and you begin first with the left side, the palm facing up, and the right hand on top, and you begin turning this deep channel inside you, and you're feeling it turn inside you as you spiral your hands 26 times. Now, he gives no explanation for the 26 times, but I believe it has to do with the larger cycles of uh, procession of the equinoxes of the Earth, 26,000 times. I think it has a resonance with these larger deep cycles, and that these were the deep channels inside the Earth are doing, they're turning inside the Earth. Is a, inside the very, between the North and South Pole, you have these two spiraling magnetic forces, like a yin and yang, and just like this form, I believe it's imitating that inside our own body as the earth turns and goes through its evolution. So this is connecting our own deep evolution with that of the earth. This is my experience of the form. It's not necessarily the way he teaches it, but 26 times and it's always spiraling to the inside. Thank you. You agree, okay? 26 times spiraling to the inside, always coming to the center line, flip it over 26 times on this core channel the right one, spiraling in to the center, and then the center. Now he offers the image of the sun and moon. The left hand is the sun, the right hand is the moon, and then reversing. And I think that's a very powerful image and a very useful one. If you can hold the sense of two spheres interacting there, the yin and yang polarities of those two spheres, it adds more power, the essences of the sun and moon going into these channels. So. It, it adds an alchemical element. And then the third time is in the center, and this one is in the same direction as the standard flow of the orbit. Only the sun and moon are moving around each other 26 times here. At the end, again, this is I've added in, 
opening each of the dantians three times. You can do it just once if you don't have time. But it's very powerful. You've gathered all these forces and then you open the three centers, the three cauldrons. 